bloody good fish there or something. Check it out. Holy Nobody freebies today. Now, good morning there, YouTube. Crikey Dickens, the last couple of months, if it was a game of cards, it would have been a redeal. I bloody did my back, kept me off the river for about a month, and then I got some bloody cold, N not COVID luckily, a bloody uh, swab up my nose confirmed that. And then we had some sort of apocalyptic sort of flood sequence go on where it just rained and it just wouldn't stop. The poor old rivers all blew out and Holy moly, testing I tell you, but today the rivers are dropping, the sun is shining and we're ninjaring upstream in hope of sighting a fat brown trout, recklessly feeding, feeding of reckless abandon is what we're after, hmm. It hasn't been total doom and gloom though. We did manage to sneak out for a walk in the hills for a couple of days with a 7mm rem mag and knocked over two fat deer. Crikey bloody dickens, what a couple of days it's been. I'm out for a hunt, it is pouring, it has been pouring of rain, like if I thought I had all the rain turning out for fly fishing, I have had all the rain turning out for hunting. My Zeiss has been bitty uh, water all over the lens, my glasses have been fogging, it's just been one of those trips, but yesterday I managed to bag a nice fat young hind. Cook you, cook you. And here she is. Hey. And that's one dead deer. Hey. And then uh, today, we just thumped this fella over. A nice fat young yearling using the uh, 7mm rem mag up there. Pretty stoked. Uh, as you can see, I'm in the uh, I'm in some pretty gnarly, shitty country, so I've got to drop back down in the creek and I'm probably about an hour from the hut. But, uh, some, uh, some venison just before Christmas, just what the doctor ordered. Catch you fellas later. And in between dinging my back and catching that bloody cold, I snuck down the local in the rain, uh, just before it flooded actually, and uh, shot this little sequence here. Ahoy there YouTubers, welcome to another exciting edition of Black Creek NZ. It has been an interesting couple of days on the river. We, uh, we've been getting the hookups, but man are we having trouble getting them into the bloody net. Got a couple of good hidings yesterday from uh, two brown trout. One smoked us underneath a rock. We've gone underneath a bloody rock. No, we got him out. And the other one um, tore upstream and put us under some willows and I had to use a really low rod angle and gave us the buddy slip. Just uh, couldn't maintain the right, I guess the right angle between the rod tip and the fish. Anywho. We did get onto an absolute cracker yesterday. Everything was looking good, and then uh, this happened. Oh, we got a beautiful fish sitting down in front of us, and uh, everything's about to be ruined by the uh, rafters again. Second lot of rafters that came through. Everyone's entitled to the river, blah, blah, blah. Uh, we lose out. Yep, and there's our big fish gone. And the buggers didn't even wave back. I know. I was a little bit disappointed actually. You know, if, if you are rafting and you destroy an angler's 
fishing session, the least you can do is, you know, wave and smile, not just bloody ignore them. Oh well, everyone gets a turn on the river I suppose. Right, what are we up to today? Uh, bimbling upstream in search of brown trout as always. Uh, any size will do. We just need to get something on a fly. That's all we want. Nothing, uh, nothing too much. I'm sure if I apply, apply some concentration, I might just get there. Alright, I'm running out of things to say and waffling a lot, so uh, let's get a fly on the water and see what happens. It is the day of the duck. Everywhere I go, there are ducks or ducklings heading upstream in front of me, which is making uh, things more difficult than they perhaps need to be. We shall persevere. Oh, a monster. Where you go, buddy? On the board. Woohoo! <laughs> Uh, just pulled this out of the river. Uh, good one, yeah, whoever threw it in here. It's probably good for trout and ducks and everything else that Buddy lurks about the, uh, the river. And I got Reply 600 herbicide, ecotoxic. F anchor. The things I do to try to catch a buddy fish, it is pouring down. I've just recently got over a decently sprained back and I got a COVID swab about a week ago. The run of amazing Black Creek luck continues. A good thing that the weather's so nice. Hmm. That is an absolute buddy cracker. Picked up on the last chance black nymph from our good mates up at nzfishingflies.com. What a bloody beauty. Absolute stonker of a fish. Really stoked. Bloody beauty, we're on the board. Bit of rain, bit of wind, but uh, perseverance pays off, eh? Oh, that's not good. That's quite a large fish. I don't know if it's a trout, though. Looking at that tail, might be a bit big for a bear trout. Interesting. I'm running voice command on the GoPro and uh, you just got to be careful what you say halfway through a scrap otherwise you might not end up with the whole thing on film as we just did then Beauty Nice fish Good hard fight Perseverance pays off eh? I'd almost written it off and I thought oh I'll just go for another 10 metres upstream and there sitting in some slack water it was about a four pound brown to make a brief appearance on the channel. Hunter's Hopper and a last chance black nymph. The old last chance black nymphs are Reese special. And you can pick them up from Reese's online shop at uh, nzfishingflies.com or I think he's even got a walk-in shop now up in Tamaranui. You may have to may have to check on Reese's website. Double check that one. But uh, this is our last chance black nymph right there. And we've been running a hunter's hopper all day down nice and, uh, nice and close to the shore. Just trying to pick up any mooches that are loitering about with the uh, high water and slightly swifter conditions we got. Bloody beauty. Radio. Uh, I better get home before Mrs. Black Creek gets upset. 
it's uh, dinner time and she's at home with the kids. Oops. Uh, love you, Mrs. Black Creek. Oh, I'll be home in a minute. See you later. All in all, not a total disaster, but man, it has just been hard work. Can't complain though. Still above ground, and today the sun is shining. Crikey dickens, what a blinking slow start. We've seen one real good fish, and he was holding down deep in front of a log jam in the shadows and he did not stick around uh, the sun glanced off the top of my head off my hat and uh, he saw it and he was gone it would have been a one-way cast but i probably still would have done it would have been good like the little five weight probably would have got dragged down into the log jam with me attached but you know death or glory that's the black creek mantra uh what to do keep poking upstream i suppose Surely we'll see a fish soon, like they're starting to open up a little bit. Must be one out in the sunlight somewhere. Maybe. Yeah. Gonna be a boring video if you just have to sit there and watch me walk up the bloody river all day. Probably be like the other 99 on here. The most exciting channel on YouTube. The Black Creek River Walking Channel. You might have to bloody rename. Old mate just slunk off. I cannot see him anymore. When I threw the uh, hunter's hopper and the nymph past him, I think he was a little bit spooked and he pushed away from the from the dry. So maybe going to a um, set of naked nymphs in case I get a second chance of him. Alrighty, yeah, we're going to try the naked nymph this guy. Oh, got it, yes. Oh, he just pulled. Oh, man, that is such a bummer. It was a beaut fish. Like, I'm stoked to get the hook up, don't get me wrong, but man alive. The hook's just bloody pulled. And he's sitting out over there looking back. And, uh, yeah, what do you do? What do you do? You sneak back upstream and try to find another fish. It's probably the best option.
we could sit here and cry about it, but it's not going to get a fish in the net. So we will have a cup of tea, and we will have a cheese sandwich, and we will keep on keeping on. Why not? Pretty cool though, pretty cool. Better to lose a trout than be sitting at home on the couch, that's for sure. <sighs> Is it going to be one of those seasons? I really hope it's not going to be one of those seasons. I really hope it's not. Oh, there's been that much bloody water down through here that uh, I wonder if they've all been pushed out. Uh, surely not. There's got to be a fish in here somewhere. Well, there's got to be another fish in here somewhere. There was a fish downstream that we were briefly attached to. A, uh, another long range release completed by Black Creek, one of our specialties. Oh dear. Come on, fish. It's got to be a fish in here. Well, we may have just caught the smallest trout in the entire catchment. Fat little bugger, aren't you? I guess we'll take what we can get. Holy. Uh, yep. Wasn't expecting that, but cool. Sure. Django's spuddy struggle street at the moment. We've just seen some footprints from yesterday. The river's still dropping, so there'll be some trout that haven't been fished too, but uh, it just makes it a little bit trickier. Hard work, not seeing a lot of fish, and the fish we are seeing are moving and uh, not hanging about. Oh hum, well, we'll get the kettle on and uh, have a cup of tea I reckon. Just over there, mid screen, is a nice trout that's just parked up over the far side, and we will attempt to go over there and wrangle him.